And we continue with Good Day Rochester. We have uh, featured our at-length discussion with Congresswoman Louise Slaughter of Fairport this morning. Yeah, it's something we'd like to call Congressional Corner. Your representatives answering your questions. We hope to talk to members of both parties in the coming weeks. We'll put the whole thing up on foxrochester.com. For now, they're here as the last part of the conversation, including something she's very passionate about, her opposition to fast-track authority. So another two years, uh, well, in two years, mm -hmm. you'll be back perhaps to run again? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm, I'm not thinking about that today. Sure. That's a year and a half away. Mm -hmm. Right now, I want to try to save these antibiotics for people. I'm also working to bring the Supreme Court under the same code of ethics uh, as federal judges. Right. Uh, we're working very hard on the trade bill to try to stop it. We've got about, uh, let's say we've got about a minute left to discuss that. I know you've written an op-ed piece about that recently. I'm it's one a of big the leaders in the fight against what we call fast track. Right. Now, this is important to understand. Fast track is something that came about in the 70s when the United States Congress said to the executive department, we're the largest manufacturers in the world. We're not interested in what you have to do about trade. We had already, after the Second World War, given up a lot of our military contracts to right. rebuild Germany, Japan, and later South Korea. So we said, you go ahead and do it. We'll vote up or down. That's what fast track is. The only committee action of any sort would be the Ways and Means Committee, and very little of that. We don't know what's in the bill. Now, we find some things from Wikipedia every now and then it's in there, <laughs> but we do know that the financial industries and the pharmaceutical industries know what's in there, as well as, as a lot of other parts of the United States. But there are things that we know that are bad. For example, there's a, we can be sued by other countries if they just presume, let, let's say, our clean water air laws or our clean air laws would cause them to lose money. Right now, under the trade agreements we've already passed, and I've not seen one that benefited the American worker or manufacturer since I've been in the house because of fast track. But right now, we pay the World Trade Organization fines all the time under those notions that okay. they can take us into court. We don't want to do that anymore. I've watched the devastation. When I was elected to Congress, there were 62,000 workers in Eastman Kodak. Well, and NAFTA did nothing for us. People are concerned that the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, right. could uh, outsource more American jobs. Of course jobs it would. And, and, and let me tell you the proof of that. They're talking all the time. They're going to expand the TAA, which is the Trade Adjustment Allowance, which is what they do to try to retrain workers right. who had perfectly fine jobs but that because of this trade. And the United States, some of the laws we have still encourage people going overseas, giving them tax breaks to to take their sure. companies overseas. It's outrageous. And we really need a new tax bill. We need to really change the taxing system in this country badly, and we've got to get that done. There's a whole lot um, on the plate. I know a that ton. we just talked about. We didn't even get we into the Homeland Security there. funding bill. There's all the sorts of oh, things going on. Oh, I could go on for that forever. A lot of gridlock, and I know that you're trying to operate uh, under that, and then we, we can even go into really that. We really well on but, Homeland Security. Right. Which all just funded. barely, though. That was, that was close, no, wasn't it? it? Actually, the final vote was not close, but 167 Republicans voted against it. Okay. Every Democrat voting voted for it. We carried that bill, which is what we want to do. We're not looking at it as a political contest. We were all elected to come to help the country. And we have said to, the, uh, to Speaker Boehner over and over again, there have been times, you know, on, on uh, the public debt, uh, Violence Against Women Act, we we gave all majority votes for that. Is there a feeling of cooperation in, it's getting better. in Washington? Absolutely. You think it's getting better? Look, I'm working right now with a great Republican from Pennsylvania. We're co uh, sponsoring a bill to try to change the school formula because okay. we're cheated up here. Uh, Jimmy Duncan and I are doing the best on the Stock Act that I mentioned right. a while ago right. to do something on political intelligence. Jimmy's from Tennessee. And he and I, you know, we, we shared the same cornbread growing yeah. up. So, uh, no, I, I do fine with all that. I have no problem with working across the aisle. We appreciate your time and appreciate you I being appreciate here to answer our questions. And yeah. there are so many more. People actually emailed us and uh, on Facebook. They sent us all sorts of questions. Um, we didn't get to all of them, but we hope that we can do this again. Uh, we'd love to have you back yeah. and sort of uh, uh, sort of catch up with you from time to time. Sure. We'd love to hear what you have I, to say. I and of course, it, it's a great opportunity we're doing for the me same. to tell people what, what, what I'm doing. Right. And of course, we'll be doing the same, of course, with uh, Republican lawmakers as well. Of so course. We appreciate your time, Louise. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Always good to see you, Norma. Good to see you. We too. go way back.
We do. Yeah. Don't say how far back, though. No, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome.